Roof trusses have overtaken rafters as the most popular way to create a roof frame. And there's a good reason why trusses have become more popular, they're cheaper, more convenient, and extremely versatile. What's up everybody? Compliments of the new season. Welcome back to our channel. We carry on our mission to provide you guys with the best architecture tools, tutorials, and resources. So in today's video, we look at uh, Arcade's roof truss customization and roof maker tips. Uh, basically, how to create a custom roof truss using Arcade, you know, plus roof maker tips and tricks. So I'll cover things like uh, roof maker tips, uh, the truss maker tool, and a bit of roof terminologies and types of roofs that you should be aware of. Without further ado, let us get into it. Essentially, roof trusses create a roof frame. They determine the shape of the roof and the ceiling while providing support for the roof. Trusses are pre-engineered in a factory using lightweight materials like wood and steel and are shipped to the construction site. So what's my point? The key catch is to pre-engineer them into the computer. So, so we make mistakes first in the computers than on site. And that's basically the BIM methodology. And BIM is working smart and efficiently so as to reduce errors and so on, right? So this is the what we are trying to do. Engineer this trusses like manufacturers do. So anyway, with me here are types of roof trusses that are already modeled. You can get them at the link below. I will show you step by step on how to achieve this kind of, uh, you know, trusses shortly. So basically, these are already modeled. And again, there are a ton, a ton of trusses available to complete a building project, right? So here with me, I've compiled a few, a list of some common, commonly used trusses for home construction. So one may be familiar with the King Post, King Post, which is the simplest roofing truss commonly used uh, in, you know, small homes, home additions, garage constructions, and so on and so on forth. Uh, usually the spans five to eight meters, the queen post, queen post is well suited for larger residential, as you all know, and then the fink and the, you know, yeah, they're just, these are just uh, the common ones that are basically used. The list, the list is very, is, is endless. Hence why I say they are extremely versatile. If you remember well, they are extremely versatile. Um, yeah, enough with the theory sessions, guys. So here with me is a simple bachelor house that uh, we will use as our example. Our patrons subscribers will have this file to practice and hone their skills. I duplicated the house. Uh, so we could roof it with two or more roof types. For now, we'll focus on the heap and the gable roofs. So we play around with the trusses that uh, are suitable for this kind of roofs. Now the juicy part, I'll choose any any of the trusses I'd like to use here. And the heap roof, first things first, uh, I'd select the roof and add trusses, uh, automated trusses to act as a guide as where well to put our trusses you know, where our trusses have to be. So uh, the automated roofing trial, the automated roofing, what you, that's a, basically the tip one of today, is a design, go to design, select the roof, and then design, roof extras, roof maker, and then roof wizard. Um, there you, you know, you have your own trusses, but uh, you need to pair around with the spacings of the trusses as well, and you know, sizes and stuff like that. And we'll, re we'll remove them later and engineer our own. Uh, this was just for to act as a guidance uh, as well to put our own right. So tip two is let us customize the trusses by profiling them using the lines. And we already have our templates, we have already have our lines, we have already have uh, our own uh, trusses that we'd like to use. 
maybe we choose a king post or whatever the list is endless right so you choose it from there and then you copy it and open the section and then place it and then uh, scale it and make sure it, it follows the right roof angle you scale it and make sure it follows the roof, right, uh, roof angle and then mind you uh, it's an uh, important note to be aware of uh, differentiate the lines with uh, different color uh, the, 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 the roof the trusses you know that trusses consist of three different things right the cord the main cord and stuff like that so you need to differentiate them with, with colors uh, that's a very very important note so it's uh, easily manageable okay select select the the framework the lines and choose a uh, create truss from the truss maker a recall menu uh, go to design, design extras, and then truss maker. Choose a construction type using the three larger buttons on the left of the screen of the truss maker. Uh, you know, these are just uh, construction types of the of trusses. There, there's a timber construction, there's a hollow section, uh, the road steel profiles. So basically, this is for steel, this is for wood. And for now, we'll focus on the I want that uh, you know that choose the timber construction for now we'll focus on the timber construction all right so after there you have a button that you're going to use uh, trust make attributes those attributes are just basically uh, where you're going to set your appearance of the trusses and the floor plan the section and the 3d view basically attributes materials basically attributes uh, this skeleton will define the appearance of the trusses in the floor plan in section 3D views. All right, and then the trust maker trust profile tab. Here we use this tab page to assign distinct parameters: uh, thickness, your diameter, your profile, you know, to each uh, chord, to each chord, like the different, you know, since we have uh, different lines, so we have we need to be aware of the different lines, thicknesses and stuff. So, like I said, it's not important to define the truss parts of the truss. You must assign different pen sets, different colors, I mean. Uh, yeah. And then if you're okay with the measurements and stuff like thicknesses, uh, you can go ahead and say save and you save your trusses. Uh, maybe a Kim post or whatever you save it, get it up, save. An alert will be displayed informing you that uh, a new truss Object has been created on the floor plan. The truss is placed on the same line as the section line and will therefore appear in that section and you know or elevation. Uh, and then that's it. Basically that's it. That's a I don't I know it's easy, it's very easy. That was just a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a custom truss. So we are going to proceed and roof this. Uh, different kinds of houses, the, the different kinds of roofs with, with the trusses. We're going to play around with trusses using the same method of just playing around with the lines. You, you choose your angles, you play around with the angles, you choose your, your, your profiles and play around with them. And then just to repeat the same steps and design the, our roof trusses for different roofs, for the gable. So why am I choosing this method? This method is uh, very easy to manage in terms of uh, the manufacturers. If you send them to your manufacturers, it's going to be easy for them to, to read, uh, easy for them to quantify. And I, I say it's the best practices for now because it produces neat drawings. It, it, it's nice and it's basically being it's efficient. It's, 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 it's very nice. It's easily, you manage your information right. So if you are a deep diver of beam, you'd put this trusses that you model into a classification, into a, a nice layer and into the layers, and then you can easily manage them. 
And yeah, like I said, it's just base practices. So you repeat the same process with the gable roof. You do the same. You choose a profile. You choose your king post. You choose your uh, whatever trust you wanna the thing. The, 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 you know any any trust you wanna profile you wanna uh, do, and then you populate around the roofing, and then you play around, and then you can easily quantify your trusses this way. You can easily send this to your manufacturers this way. So yeah, that's basically it, guys. Uh, We've reached the end of our video. This is what I wanted to cover today. I hope you, I hope it was helpful, and you got a few insights. This is this videos are just meant to give you insights and help you in your architectural journey, in your designer's journey, and we help you guys. We are dedicated to provide such videos every day. Uh, please, if you like this video, uh, leave smash that like button and. Um, if you are new here, subscribe and stay tuned for more videos like this. And stay creative. Stay creative, like I always say. And there are resources that can help you. Uh, follow us in, in our pages. There's a link below where you could get hold of us and learn more about us. And, you know, thank you for your support. Thank you for tuning in. Stay creative. See you in the next video. Bye for now.